Hey guys, good morning. Happy Wednesday. These are the seven things that I've learned after talking to a thousand customers at my call center job. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is John and I talk about what it really means to live a truly rich life. On this channel, I, I talk about ideas to help you live a positive lifestyle, different things that you could do to increase the productivity in your day and what it really takes to become a millionaire in your life. So far in the year 2022, our call centers have answered at least 1 million phone calls and a thousand of those were mine. Now here are the seven things I've learned after talking to those 1000 people. Number one. So uh, the thing that most people may not realize is that call center work can be really mentally draining. Uh, most of the time when people are calling in, they're calling in because they're having some kind of problem or they're unhappy with something. Uh, so this negative energy can really take a toll on the customer service agent. Number two, all your metrics are recorded to improve the work efficiency. So things such as how long your calls take, how long customers are on hold for, all of these things are measured to see how the process can be improved. Number three, so at really busy call centers, as soon as you finish one call, another one comes in right away. So aside from your breaks and your lunches, there's really no downtime between the calls. Number four, ergonomics are so important. So for any kind of job where you're having to be in front of a computer all day and having to use the mouse or the keyboard for at least six to eight hours at a time, um, any little change that you can make in your hardware and your setup will really help you in the long run. This will help you prevent injuries such as to your lower back or to your wrist when using the keyboard and the mouse. Number five, every single one of our calls are recorded and some of them are actually reviewed several times a month. So when you hear that recording that says your calls are being recorded for quality purposes, they really mean it. Number six, we have tools that show us how long people are waiting to speak to the next customer service agent. So. We have a general idea of how long people have been on hold time before they speak to us, but there's not a lot that we can do about that. The only thing that we can really do is try to finish up our calls as soon as possible so that we can get to the next call. Number seven, did you know that there are plenty of different nursing jobs outside of the hospital? So if you're looking to do something that is different from the traditional hospital job, um, you can actually work at a call center as a registered nurse. One of the things that nurses do at call centers is they perform a telephone triage. So that means that whenever someone's having some kind of medical problem that you're, they're not sure what to do next about, what they can do is call a nurse, uh, talk to them about what's going on, and then the nurse can help you figure out what you could do next. Now, I spent about 10 years working at a county jail before I took on this call center nursing job. Uh, when I was at the jail, I spent a lot of time doing a lot of different types of triage. Um, and in the jail setting, um, a lot of people often lie about what kind of symptoms that they were having in order to get out of jail. Um, so it was really hard to, to do that type of work, um, but it was also a good practice in doing tr different types of triage. So all that experience actually helped me to do my current job. So the next time you have to call a customer service line, I do want to thank you for holding. And please remember that there is a face and a life behind every customer service agent that's helping you. Now, we don't know what could be going on in those people's lives, uh, and we don't know what kind of call they may have just had before speaking to you. The main thing I want people to know is that every customer service agent that you speak to is trying their best to help you with your problem as fast as possible. Oftentimes they are following certain protocols and working within a system, so sometimes the outcome may not be exactly what you want, but do understand that the customer service agent is trying to help you out the best way that they can with the limitations that they have. One thing I would say is that keeping a positive attitude and making some jokes here and there really brightens up our day. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let me know down in the comments what other type of comment you'd like to see. If you're a customer service representative, let me know what you think about, this, about some of the other challenges that you may be facing at your jobs.